What's up everybody? Welcome to another YouTube video. Today I'll be explaining what Bardock could have done to defeat Frieza without overpowering him. I know it sounds like a mouthful, but there's a couple of options that Bardock could have done in order to completely wipe out Frieza. And before I even did this video, I came up with a lot of theories and ideas of what Bardock could have done. Step one. Before Frieza did his, uh, you know, basically his death bomb move, what Bardock could have done was he could have basically juked out Frieza. And what I mean by that is what Bardock could have done was shoot his most powerful attack is shoot his most powerful attack directly at Lord Frieza and miss on purpose. And what would happen was, and what would happen will, Frieza will probably, you know, he'll lose focus. He'll lose focus of the energy he was building up. And the death ball will just disappear. It will get Frieza so irritated to the point where he'll actually want to come out of his ship and fight Bardock. Now, that's one idea Bardock could have done. Now, yeah. now, another thing that Bardock probably could have done in order to save planet Vegeta. So, when Frieza directly did the death ball towards Bardock, what he should have did was this. Okay. His final spirit cannon is his most strongest attack. So what he could have done was he could have put all of his power into that one attack, right? To at least stall the death ball for a little bit. And what would have happened was this. If it would have got any closer to him, what he should have did was his next super attack, which was his I'll never forgive you. So he literally rut. As you can see during the episode of Bardock, he rushed through the soldiers as if they couldn't touch him. So if he would have used that attack, he possibly could have saved planet Vegeta from extinction. I'm just stating facts here. That's what Bardock could have done in order to save planet Vegeta. Now you're probably thinking like, wait a minute, what's that going to do to... Be able to beat Frieza without overpowering. I'll tell you what that will be able to do. Frieza will get so angry to the point where Frieza will directly go towards him. And when Frieza least expects it, Bardock will probably be able to make Frieza lose his guard. See, the thing is with Bardock, all he needs is a close-up. As soon as Bardock gets close to you, it's case. It's case. He does not take it easy on his enemies. He goes all out up close. So if he would have... So another thing that Bardock could have possibly done was after the attack was finished, quickly teleport behind Frieza, grab him in a grappling hook, and there's a couple things that Bardock could have done at that moment. One, he could have possibly, uh, oh yeah, possibly he could have, um, did, he probably could have grabbed Frieza and start, like, hugging him to the, to the point where Frieza couldn't move. It's true that Frieza's powerful, but if Bardock has a tight enough grip, not even Lord Frieza would be able to get out of that. You, you'd you have to probably be, like, I don't know, like 50 times stronger than the person gripping you. Or, you know, or like, you know, basically strangling you. Another thing that Bardock could have did is, too, he honestly, while he had Frieza in that grappling hook, he quickly could have just snapped Frieza's neck and it would have been over just like that if he was capable of teleporting behind him. Now, there's one more thing. No, there's two more things he could have done, actually. Now, another thing. When the blast was coming toward planet Vegeta, 
what he could have done to survive is literally just deflect the blast instead of just standing there. And he probably could have did a super attack back or something. Now, my one last thing. Now, one last thing that Bardock could have done during this episode is while Frieza was gathering energy and sh and uh, and tossed his death ball, it was at that moment Bardock should have transformed into a giant ape. Yes, it's true that it would take him a few minutes to transform into a giant ape. But keep in mind that Bardock, the scientist, was actually able to make a moon during the daytime to literally turn into a giant ape. So Frieza would have been so distracted thinking like, you know, that it was, you know, nothing that, basically Frieza would get so distracted to the point where he would have no idea where it, what it was. He would get caught off guard. And before Frieza knows it, before he comes to realization that it was him getting ready to transform, it would already be too late. But, so, the death ball's coming at Bardock, he's transforming, and what happened was, three things. One, giant form a Bardock can literally take that death ball, literally rush towards Frieza, and just throw it directly at Lord Frieza. I'm pretty sure Lord, Lord Frieza wouldn't even be able to take his own attack head on. He would probably have to do something crazy in order to take it head on. A second thing is literally the great ape catches the death ball and literally just smushes it like a balloon and it just explodes in midair. Or the other thing that giant ape bar, giant form ape bar that could have done was literally blast like blast a huge key blast out of his mouth during his giant ape form and that would have gave planet vegeta some time to escape while lord frieza was attacking now i'm going on now i'm gonna go on to the dragon ball super bar now as we see here they brought back bardock but this time in dragon ball super his art designs different and all that in this scenario, Bardock does use his head, but he rushes. He actually goes head on with the blast. Like, stalling for time. Just to mi They survived a few seconds more thanks to Bardock. But now, what he could have done during the Dragon... When he was recreated during Dragon Ball Super, what Bardock could have done is one, the Saiyans that were literally watching him could have jumped in and did their most strongest super attacks to get th to possibly let the other Saiyans escape in time away from Frieza. That's one thing they could have done. A second thing Bardock could have done is literally hold the super attack. And what I mean by hold the super attack, I mean put all of his strength into his muscles literally trying to hold back the super attack as long as he can making sure as many people can get to i mean as many saiyans can get to safety it would be the most smartest thing i mean yes in the process he would probably go out but he would end up saving at least half the saiyans if he did that so yeah that's all I really have to say about Bardock. Oh, another thing. There's one more thing that Bardock could have done. When Bardock had that prediction about Free about Frieza attacking the Saiyans, they had spaceships at the time. So what he should have done was tested something out. Should have did like a quick experiment to see what Lord Frieza would have done. If he saw, a, like, you know, if he saw a Saiyan far more powerful than him, I don't know how he would possibly be able to do that, but I'm pretty sure there would be a way to do that.
But anyway, also another thing that Bardock could have done was before Planet Vegeta blew up, he could have quickly went to a spaceship, pressed all controls or buttons, whatever he needed to, and he could have just literally flew out of Planet Vegeta. So those are the things that Bardock possibly could have done to basically overcome freezing. You're probably wondering, but escaping in a pay spaceship, that's that's not overcoming freeze. What I mean by that is, well, Planet Vegeta is being hit by the death ball. Bardock comes out the spaceship really quick, close enough to Frieza, and then what Bardock can basically do is do a move that Gohan did, where he grabs the opponent, and I mean grabs them tight, and literally starts powering up, powering up to his fullest, and quickly makes himself into a meteor and smash Lord Freeze's head on a spaceship. And why I'm saying Bardock won't be affected by it too much, because Bardock has taken harder hits than just getting his head bopped. So, but Lord Frieza has never got his head smashed. Now, if that was to happen, Lord Frieza would definitely be knocked out cold, giving Bardock the opportunity to literally annihilate Frieza. Now, if you guys came up with any ideas of how Bardock could have overcame Frieza without overpower him, Please tell me in the comments below. You're probably wondering, why are you doing a video about Bardock anyway? So, anyway, I'm I'm gonna give you a hint. I'm making a Gonda Knuckles movie, a fan-made movie. And, um, also, if that movie does successful, there will be another fan-made movie that I'll be making. And I'm practicing a Bardock voice for a reason, I, I'm not telling you that special reason why, but you got the hint though. I'm basically trying to do Bardock's voice, and you're probably all asking me, can you do his voice next? I will do his voice when I'm ready. I'm still practicing his voice right now. I have it down completely, but not all the way. So. You guys have a lot to look forward to on my channel, but yeah, little hint of, I'm just gonna give a little hint, there's a Bardock special coming up on my channel, only if the Gonda Knuckles movie does well. So, I hope you guys all enjoyed the video, and tell me your thoughts below, and don't forget to please subscribe, like, and comment. Peace out everyone, and see you in the next video.